Hey hey everyone and welcome back to yet another Figma review and I'm going to be taking a look at Figma SP50 Hatsune Miku Sailor Suit version. This is a limited run figure only available as an in-store lottery prize from the Japanese convenience store chain Family Mart. Basically what that means is that you see a big rack of prizes in the store, grab a ticket from the rack, bring it to the counter and for each ticket you buy you get a chance at a prize. You always win something and the prizes are ranked by letter, A being the best prize and so forth. This was the B prize and I'm guessing the A prize was the Nendoroid. A quick look at the box before opening it up. This is the new style box which is really growing on me. Through the window at the front of the box you can see the figure and some optional parts and at the back of the box there's some pictures that give you a very good idea of what the figure will be like out of the box and the accessories that it comes with. So let's open this up and get a look at what's inside. First is the pull-out DI stage segment in a maroony colour not so different from Mikasa's. And inside the clear plastic inner packaging is the main event, the figure itself. As you can see not a whole load of accessories with this Figma, just what you can see from the front here and that's two alternate hair parts as well as the default one, one alternate face, a school bag and what looks like a diploma of some sort. Around on the back we have something interesting and what the label says is jewel seals which are small clear jewel stickers to replicate tears. Opening it up further now and in the bottom is the plastic bag containing a spare joint, a part for the stand, a rack of seven hands, the base and the stand itself. And also down here is the instruction sheet which lists the included parts and opening that up you can see in here are the instructions on swapping parts. On to the aesthetics and what strikes me straight away here is the awesome palette choice for this figure. The colours are matte and dull and are more reminiscent of the 1925 version of Miku, more so than the standard version that everyone would be familiar with. Spring in Japan is graduation time and around now Japanese students will be graduating or finishing up for spring vacation, so the sailor suit theme of this Miku coincides with that. The dullish colour scheme also continues onto the facial features which look awesome and unique with the dull brown lines. And the slight fade to purplish grey at the front of the hair is also a nice addition as well. And if I'm not mistaken the light reflections in her eyes are sakura blossoms which is a really nice touch. The costume is very well detailed considering how plain it is. And there's some nice sakura detailing on the headphones as well. And I always love the matte paint used by Max Factory. It makes what would be a fairly dull green look fantastic. A quick comparison to the version of Miku everyone is familiar with and I'm using Miku 2.0 for this. Sailor Suit Miku has a much duller palette choice than the very vividly coloured Miku on the right. You can also see that she's a good deal shorter than her older self. Onto the accessories and she doesn't really come with a whole lot of stuff. You get one alternate face, two alternate hair parts, the one on the right is pretty much the same as the normal one but for using without the headphones. We also have her diploma and her bag as well as the rack of hands. A closer look at everything now and we have seven alternate hands. A pair of fists, hands for holding stuff like other Figma's accessories. And on the other side we have a right hand for pushing up her glasses and the hands for holding the diploma. Onto the alternate hair parts and first up is the one with the glasses attached and this looks awesome. It's so detailed for how small it is, the glasses even have clear lenses. And as well as that we have this piece which is for using without the headphones. Swapping the hair parts is very simple, you just pull off this one like this. Then just pop on whatever alternate part you want like this. And there you go, Miku with her glasses on. Removing the headphones is a breeze as well. Once the hair part is off, they just slide off easily. You can attach the larger hair part like this. Miku comes with one alternate face and that's this crying happy sad face. I don't know any other way to describe it. Happy sad face. The bag looks great as well with this nice little Sakura detail. And there's the diploma as well. I'm guessing it's in some kind of black case. Now this is the really interesting part of the figure, the jewel seals, and it comes with a lot of them. Just small stickers that stick below the eyes like this to resemble tears, and they do a damn good job of it too. And you get enough of them to make a ton of your figures cry, so she won't be alone. So it doesn't come with much, but it's a great little set of accessories regardless. Now let's have a look at some poses. A quick look at the articulation and I'll start from the head down. 
The twin tails have some articulation just as they meet the head, so they can move up and down and they can also twist around like this as well. As for the movement of the neck, the head can tilt side to side a bit like this. This is the movement to the back and this is the movement to the front. At the shoulder, the arm can't really move up that high, but it can rotate all the way around. There is a reasonable amount of movement at the elbow. And there's a lot of articulation at the wrist here thanks to the new style wrist joint. There's a little bit of movement here at the waist section, a bit to the front and a bit side to side, not too much. There's a little bit of side to side movement here at the hips. Here's the leg all the way up to the front. And this is the leg moved all the way to the back. The bend at the knee. Extension at the ankle. And here's it all the way back up. And there's a little bit of side to side movement here as well. It's a figma, so of course the quality is as good as it gets at this scale. Parts like the skirt, ribbon here, and the neck flap are all made of a soft, flexible material. But there are some negative points which are common with figma, like some paint transfer like on the arm here, or some minor paint errors like on the headphones here, but this will vary from figure to figure. The top of the diploma has a pretty rough cut mark on it as well. But all of these are just minor flaws and don't really take away from what is otherwise an amazing quality figure. Guitar not included, by the way. So that's it for the Figma Miku Sailor Suit version, another awesome figure from Max Factory. The real standout point to me is the awesome color choices. It's a very unique looking version of Miku, and I think it's definitely a must buy for Miku fans. The inclusion of the clear stickers for tears is a genius idea. They don't mark the paintwork in case you were wondering. It's a very limited release, so if you get the chance to get your hands on it, then you should, as it's sure to disappear quite quickly. So, thanks again for watching, and see you again for another Figma review.